It's about clever in primary school. No child is sedentary for longer than 30 minutes. And although being COVID secure has presented us with some new challenges, our children will still be enjoying a guaranteed minimum of 30 minutes of physical activity in class every day, as well as active transport opportunities, active playtimes, active lunch times, PE lessons and school sport opportunities. It's true that engaging pupils in hands-on activities, collaborative sessions and other active learning strategies is more challenging now. However, we have and are continuing to very carefully think about what learning spaces should look like and how they should function to support active learning safely and effectively. This includes blending physical and virtual learning environments, creating highly adaptable spaces and easiest of all, simply going outdoors. Some active learning strategies like relays to sort and classify shapes, words, countries, etc. can still be implemented without a great deal of modification, especially when being done outside. And other active learning strategies like think, pair, share or gallery walk, uh, team, pair, solo, or send a problem can still be used, but with modifications or by moving to a larger space with more defined rules about movement. Because our two timetable PE lessons for every class per week are taking place outside, our school hall can be used as a giant learning space, ideal for active learning. Similarly, teachers are embracing the opportunity to use our playgrounds, field and wildlife area as large outside classrooms that are still ideal for learning whilst following government guidance. In addition, our legendary active breaks during every lesson period continue to play a vital role in our physical activity strategy. Exercises have been adapted to ensure that they can be completed in classrooms that are now set out in rows. However, very little has had to change and our children continue to enjoy and benefit from learning in a physically active and engaging classroom, including when that classroom happens to now be outside. I don't think anyone working in schools would deny that active learning is great for learning, practicing and applying key skills, knowledge and understanding in a practical way. Plus, with an ever increasing need to focus on well-being and mental health of both pupils and staff, active learning is fantastic for enjoyment and engagement and is certainly still possible even when having to work and operate in these COVID-secure environments.